video I'm going to show you an example of the simplest way to possibly view relationships starring our boy Donnie Sharp. You guys know that according to YouTube analytics, over 70% of the people who watch our videos have not subscribed to the channel. So before we get into this video, I want all of you guys to hit the subscribe button and comment below, I subscribe, and we will do our best to personally respond to every single comment. All right, so I'll be honest, I did not intend to make another video about Donnie Boy because he came on my channel for a debate, I went on his. I think we developed a level of mutual respect for each other after that. However, when this video dropped, I was like, there's no way I cannot react to this because this is literally some of the simpiest shit ever. Ever, and it goes to the difference between how me and Donnie view relationships. I'll explain to you guys both perspectives and you can decide for yourself which one makes more sense for you. So let's play the video here. Hey, can you help me with this project? No. Come on, you know this project is important to me. Yes, I do, but I don't owe you help. Hey, can we uh, do it tonight? No. <laughs> that in of itself is super fucking simple. Like you're looking at your girlfriend, hey babe, can we do it tonight? I've been in like five or six relationships in my life. You know, cumulatively, I've been in a relationship for years. I've never once had a situation where I looked at my girlfriend and was like, hey, can we do it tonight? That is literally the simplest shit ever. One of the cool things about having a girlfriend is if you fuck her well, she's gonna wanna fuck you more than you wanna fuck her. So pretty much every time all I have to do is go over there and kiss my girl on the cheek and she's like basically ripping my clothes off, right? So, and yeah, you should never have to look at your girlfriend and be like, hey, can we do it tonight? Come on, you know sex is important to me. Yes. And then you start logically justifying, come on, you know, like, you don't have a big penis and like, you know, like, I, I made you come that one time three years ago. Come on, you, you, you know that, babe. I do, but I don't owe you sex. Really, nigga? Ask yourself this, ladies. Would you want to cook, clean, or have sex with your man if he refused to share his money, energy, attention, and time with you? Of course not. So why is it a problem then for a man to stop doing what is expected of him if his woman has stopped doing what is expected of her? If it's not toxic to withhold sex because he's withholding his resources, then why is it? I do agree with Donnie here that it is very toxic if a girl withholds sex as a tool of manipulation. If my girlfriend ever did that to me, that would be the end of that relationship. Now that's different if the girl it just has a headache one night or whatever, she's not feeling well, that's totally fine. But if she's choosing to withhold sex as a way to get something for me, no, that would be the end of that relationship and that should be like that for any guy. It's toxic when we withhold our resources when they withhold their bodies. Simple. Modern women think their lady parts are more valuable than his resources, protection, or companionship. Relationships are supposed to be a value for value exchange. You're exchanging your sexual loyalty and willingness to cook and clean for his time, energy, attention, and resources. So there you have it. That really cuts to the heart of it, right? He sees this as a very transactional type of thing, right? Where the girl is giving you sex and you're giving her resources, which really stands for money. What he doesn't realize is that he's basically personifying a sugar baby, sugar daddy relationship. That is how a sugar baby, sugar daddy thing works, right? She fucks you, right? And you give her money. It's like a quasi relationship, but it's not actually built on attraction or, you know, uh, companionship. It's built on resources being exchanged. And those are relationships that are very vulnerable because let's say she meets a guy who has more money than you, or let's say you lose your job, then that relationship ends. And this really was personified when me and Donnie were debating, right? And I was trying to explain to him that in my relationship, I don't actually give my girl money or anything like that. He was so confused by this, he's like, wait a second, Alex, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're telling me your girl just fucks you and you don't give her anything? I'm like, yeah, dude, that's how a relationship is supposed to work. He's like, well, I guess you must have like a 12 inch cock then. I was like, no, dude, I have like a normal sized cock, thank you very much. It's nothing to do with that. It's just that when you fuck your girl well and she's attracted to you, you don't have to give her anything. And he was so confused by this, right? But that is how relationships should be, and that is how most relationships are. You don't need to actually give your girl money, right, to fuck you, right? If you fuck her really well, uh, if you fuck her just even averagely, right? A girl can come like five or six times from sex. A guy can only come once. In the porno, who's screaming at the top of their lungs, right? Women get more pleasure from good sex than men do. So it's natural that they wanna have it more than you, at the very least equal to you. You never have to give the girl anything. And this is another mistake that Donnie makes. He sees sex as a reward for the guy. But every relationship I've ever been in, it's usually the opposite. Like, I never actually, you know, ask the girl to give me anything for me to fuck her, right? But it's like, usually like an inside joke. I'm like, yeah, if you give me a good massage, maybe I'll fuck you tonight. But really, that cuts to the frame that I have where the sex is more of a reward for the girl. If anything, it should be 50-50. It's a reward for both of you, which I think is probably the healthiest way to view this. But certainly should not be a reward for the guy because again, 
You're not the one that gets to come five times, she does, right? And all you have to do is just fuck her well and be a guy that she's attracted to. But if you're not a guy that she's attracted to, you're not a guy that fucks her well, then yes, you are gonna give her something. So I'll let you guys decide which type of a relationship you prefer. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and show us that you don't have to give girl your resources for her to sleep with you by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, click the bell for notification. Let us know in the comments what you think about this type of relationship. Thank you for watching, until next time.